Hi, we're Joy and Jason. Last year we purchased gravel bikes and went on some epic adventures with them. We also entered some gravel grinders and races and eventually got hooked. This year we've signed up for more and today will be our first one. We will be riding the second annual Toad Strangler located in Chatham, New York. Uh, I'm actually super excited. Um, we finally got some warm weather. It's amazing how much the weather changed in the last week or so. It uh, almost feels like summer now here. And I think it's supposed to be in the 70s, right? When we get yeah. to where we're riding. And um, yeah, the body is feeling pretty good. Um, I you know, took it kind of easy this week in terms of I didn't do any intensity. And I just did a zone two ride, short zone two ride yesterday. And the legs were feeling pretty fresh. Um, and since I kept it short, I'm assuming the legs are still going to be fresh today. So I'm, I'm very optimistic about today. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to, um, to take some pulls and, and, and help the, uh, the team out. So to speak. We, uh, originally we, we weren't sure if we were going to ride together because, you know, my fitness is pretty far off right now, or at least I thought it was, but it seems to be starting to come around. Um, so I feel like I have enough fitness now where I, I can hopefully keep up with joy today and, and hopefully actually, um, you know, contribute to our effort and we'll try to. Our plan is to try to ride together and uh, and see, you know, if we can can finish it that way. So just to give you guys some idea of my setup, and I have a lot of bags on my frame here. So let's first start off with new wheels. Uh, these are the Zip 303s, along with new tires. These are the Maxxis Rambler 40C tires. My top tube bag is by Rock Bros uh, and the frame bag, which has my hydration bladder in it. These are the Zip Service Course handlebars. Jason has been running these tires for a while and I didn't realize it until I looked it over today. I thought he was running the Maxxis Refuse tires. These are the Maxxis Velocita tires. This is the Apidura uh, top tube bag. You can see this clasp closure that this flap and it's a magnetic um, it's good when your top tube isn't full but there's a chance that it does um, open so the upside about a, having a 10 a.m. start is that we can take our time getting there it's about an hour and a half drive from our house to Chatham New York so uh, we left around what 645 yeah some, a little something like that, a little after 6.30. Registration is at 8 o'clock, and then the uh, ride starts at 10. So just taking our time. Uh, the strategy, I think, for me would be uh, there's only one aid station, and with that aid station, I'm actually going to... I'm not stopping at the aid station. I'm just going to keep riding because I'm with my hydration bladder set up I should have enough water to hold me over until the end and after that there's going to be some more climbing uh, so I think at the second half of the course that's when I'll go a little bit harder
time here. The Toad Strangler is a Fondo style event which some people treat as a race while others ride it to challenge themselves or for the experience of riding amongst a large group of fellow cyclists. I fell somewhere in the middle of that spectrum. I was treating it as a race against myself and to test the limits of my current fitness level and riding ability. For this ride, I decided to gauge my effort by perceived exertion rather than fixating on a specific power number. The route was hilly, but most of the climbs were short, so my plan was to ride at what felt like threshold on all of the climbs, ride at what felt like zone 2 or tempo on the flats, and recover on the descents. The Toad Strangler has over 3,700 feet of elevation gain, so it's safe to say that this course is not short on climbs that will test your legs. But with the climb comes a descent, which I personally enjoy. I knew that I would end up accumulating a lot of time at moderate to high intensity, but because the higher intensity efforts only last for a few minutes at a time, with lower intensity periods in between, I was somewhat confident that this strategy would be sustainable over the course of several hours, as long as I stayed hydrated and fueled with some carbs whenever I could take them in. Guys, 
got separated from Joy uh, going down a descent. There were some potholes I didn't see. I, uh, I hit a pretty big pothole, dropped my chain, and also lost both my water bottles. So, I had to go back and look for the water bottles. I told Joy to just go on because I don't want this to uh, interfere with what she's, whatever goal she has for today. So, to be honest, I don't know if I could have kept up with Joy the whole day. I was struggling to hang on a few times. Well, 42 minutes into the ride, I think I'm going harder than I want to. So, let me just catch my breath around here, kind of go easy, and regroup with Jason. I'm already putting in a lot of time over what my technical threshold is, but like I was saying before, I don't truly know what my threshold is right now. Still trying to kind of find it. Probably need to take another FTP test soon. I'm not sure if you can really see this on camera, but it's sort of rolling terrain. A lot of little bumps. So something is rubbing against my brakes. I was pretty proud of myself for managing my efforts on the climbs. I did enough to keep up with others, but not too much where I burned too many matches. Unfortunately, I made a wrong turn after getting too excited over descending. Oh. 
Luckily, I found out not too long after my Wahoo started beeping and I was able to catch back up to the group. Thanks. Almost took us the wrong way. Was that the family ride? Or yeah. No, that's the, I think the A station. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, I was wondering if you meant to go that way. No, I didn't. <laughs> I was like, maybe she totally missed it. Just came for a little part no. Of the ride. <laughs> I looked at my map. I was like, oh crap! It's supposed to be the other way. <laughs> I got into a zone and focused on my pacing strategy, letting the terrain dictate where to do my efforts. Yeah, the event director did say in an email that the roads are not as maintained this time of year. So there, there's gonna be potholes. I like that it's dry. Well, just past the aid station. And uh, I think that marks roughly the halfway point of the ride. I'm actually surprised that 
I'm already at that point, less than an hour and a half. May not be able to keep up the same speed the second half. I think there's more climbing. On every hill I would accelerate and in between I would ease up to an endurance pace. I repeated this cycle for most of the ride. That's a little kicker. Yeah. <laughs> here. of climbing so far. It was at this point I was starting to feel off, but couldn't quite describe it in words, what I was feeling at the time. I felt nauseous, but not enough to vomit. The heat was starting to get to me, and I felt my face and my whole body overheat. It was hard to go hard on the climbs, but I had enough to do zone two on them, making sure I was breathing through my nose. Headwind coming back, but it's mostly downhill, and then riding into a headwind, of course. Why not? Oh, yeah. Two weeks ago, me and my husband were riding in thermals. Um, you know, recon? No, we didn't do the recon. For this, no. no. 
But yeah, just riding outside, it was so cold. And it was really windy. Yeah. I didn't have the guts. Yeah. Just layered up. I know. Beautiful. What's that? I know. I was afraid it was going to be muddy or... Yeah. Or well, it's been dry, so yeah. I don't think it rained here. So, as long as there's no rain, it's not as muddy. Two. Where do we go? Left? Oh. I don't have a power That's okay. It's still tough. For most of the day I was riding by myself, but I still had a blast. It was a little surreal. Just me, my bike, and the quiet roads of Columbia County, New York. Once I saw that I only had five miles left, I tried to push the pace a little harder. I felt very in tune with my body and how my effort was propelling the bike forward with every pedal stroke. As I approached the end of the route at Crellin Park, I felt a great sense of accomplishment from completing the ride faster than I expected. I was also excited to see Joy and find out her, how her day went.
Fido is supposed to go through. My chain dropped okay. too. My chain dropped oh, did it? those big hills, of course. Hey guys. Well, I uh, just got done with the toad strangler not too long ago. Um, I totally forgot to, uh, to talk to the camera afterward. I was kind of like on a, uh, on a high because um, I don't know. I just was feeling pretty good today and just gave it everything I had and um yeah man I don't even know what to say right now I just uh it feels really good to put in a hard effort that was the hard hardest effort I've I've done in a while and um unfortunately I didn't get to ride with joy the for the the whole ride as you saw from some of the footage um at one point we were going down a descent and there were some potholes. I, I ran over a pretty big pothole and it, uh, my chain popped off for one, which was a pretty easy fix, but also both my water bottles fell off the bike. I, uh, I sort of used it as motivation, to, extra motivation to see if I could uh, possibly catch Joy or you know, gain some ground on her, but I knew in the back of my mind I wasn't going to catch up with her the way she was riding. Um, but you know, I ended up ended up giving it a a, a great effort for me. Um, you know, fitness is is still not where it was last year, but after today, I, I feel like I had kind of a breakthrough day. It, it, I really think the fitness is starting to come back now, and. Um, you know, today kind of proved that to me. Uh, so, but it was a, it's a fun route. Um, I love the conditions. We uh, had dry, dry, dry roads, and you know they, they were a, a little on the dusty side at, at times, um, which is fine with me. I'd rather have that than muddy. Um, there were a number of potholes, but I kind of knew that that was going to happen, um, as the the event director had warned us um, in an email that they don't maintain the dirt roads as well this time of year. I'm just, I'm on this like, uh, like endorphin high or whatever you want to call it from having a really fun ride. We had um, a couple of people uh, tell us at the start of the, at the start of the uh, event that that they, they watched our farmer's daughter video from last year. So shout out to you guys. It was nice to meet you, uh, albeit quickly. Um, and for, for everyone out there, thanks everyone who's watching the videos and especially those who subscribe to our channel. Uh, thanks a lot. Really appreciate your support. Don't forget to enjoy your rides.